Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Welcome to a super quick installment of Split Second. Uh, my name is Julio. I love watches. Uh, real quick, remember to like this video if you like it, subscribe down below, hit that bell icon so you can be notified anytime I publish a video. And uh, let me just dive right into this, huh? So um, you may recall I did a, a quick unboxing of a watch that my father gave me as an uh, early birthday present. Well, not to be outdone, my mother... ...also came through with something watch-related for me, which I honestly, I can't get enough of these, you know? There comes a point where you need to maybe pump the brakes a little bit on the watches themselves, but that doesn't mean that you know, you're, you're kind of putting your hobby on pause here. A great way to keep yourself active within the watch collecting hobby is to accessorize. So, my mother actually ordered a couple of straps for me from Strapsco. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, open these up. I'm going to do an initial impression of it. And uh, we're going to actually go ahead and put these on the specific watches that I wanted these two straps for. Let's just go ahead and uh, let's start with this guy here. Alright, so this is a vintage style leather strap. And already it's like super soft and supple. This feels like they like, like you wait you want you you could do so you you it's already been broken in not stiff at all lovely and this is a uh, 20 millimeter this one is just about the same type only this one it has more of an aged faded feel to it. It it feels more vintagey if that's even a word. That's not even a word. <laughs> and uh, this is an 18 mil. You notice this one has that red stitching going on. This one has that white stitching going on. Let's go ahead and take a look at the watches that these guys are gonna go on. Now. You may remember this fella from my very first video when I did my, my wristwatch check and I'm not wearing anything now. Alright, so this fella is the one that's going to be getting the 18mm uh, vintage leather with the uh, white stitching. And for this watch, we have the Phoebus Eagle Ray GMT which I had mentioned in a previous video, but it's never actually been on camera. It's making its split second debut. And this is the fella that's going to be getting the 20 millimeter. All right. So let's just go ahead and dive right into the, uh, to the switching of it. So in order to switch out your straps, NATOs are the easiest to switch out. You just strip that out and that's it. In order to switch out your straps though, you are going to need a spring bar tool. Now, the good thing about these straps go ones is they already come with spring bars in them and they are quick release spring bars so this is a breeze and doesn't that look nice let's go ahead and get down this real quick wow what a way to breathe new life into a watch. Oh, it's alive! It's alive! It's alive! That is something else. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for these. 
Seiko here. This one I may have a little bit more trouble. Strap off. Yeah, the strap on the uh, on the sake of the factory strap is really nothing to write home about, but sickle straps are as sickle straps do. To paraphrase an American genius, and it's for skin. Tell me something. Are you stupid or something? Stupid is a stupid does, sir. You know. Seiko, whenever they cut costs, it's always on the straps, so that was way overdue for a new pair of shoes for this guy, and just look at that. Already it looks so much nicer. Let's get this one on rest now. is something else that feels so nice and it already looks i i mean i already want to wear this watch more just with this simple strap change honestly something as simple as this will make your watch feel like new you know and uh these straps they cost something like i don't know 20 Fifteen dollars? I, I don't even know. I'll, I'll I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description. But what a cost-effective way to breathe new life into your watch collection. I want to thank my dear mother, Mama, 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 again for getting me these for my birthday. And there's probably one more birthday video coming right up at some point with just one more thing that I did get as a birthday gift and I just I've loved this birthday because it's been nothing but watches and watch paraphernalia again thank you mom you're the greatest and um yeah <laughs> you know I'm just I'm just so happy with this I, I don't even want to take it out and I'll probably be using it the rest of the week everybody if uh you enjoyed this quick little installment be sure to, as I mentioned at the beginning, like the video, give me a subscribe. We, we're still very, um, very new. This is still very much uh, a channel that's in its infancy. So we need all the support we can get. If you like this video, uh, please share it with other watch enthusiasts. Subscribe, hit that bell icon so you're notified anytime I publish a video. And yeah, leave a comment down below. You know, have you ever uh, purchased from Strapsco before? What was your experience? And um, what type of straps do you like? I'm more partial to leather than uh, anything else. You know, I'll wear a NATO every now and then. Not a huge fan of rubber straps. Not a huge fan of bracelets. But um, how do you like to wear your watches? Leave a comment down below. Thank you very much. And remember, stay safe, mask up, and be kind to each other. Because life can change in a split second.